But first, was the DUI and resisting arrest of Democratic State Representative Joel Jones a legal arrest? It was the beginning of the legal trouble for the Inkster lawmaker. Yeah, the local four defenders are speaking with legal experts who question whether the initial contact Jones had with MSP troopers was mishandled. Defender Sean Lay is live tonight. Sean, you have new photos that show Jones did not crash his SUV as MSP first said. We'll get right to those photos. Kimberly, good evening to you. And what MSP did when they got to the scene of what they said was a crash and what they did with Joel Jones the first moments they had contact with him. Some questioning tonight, did MSP do nearly enough to establish a reason why to arrest him? Michigan State Police were responding to a crash on I-96 last April. When they arrived, there was an ambulance and a man standing behind it. State Representative Jewel Jones, but there was no crash. Jones' friend is in the ambulance. New photos obtained by the local four defenders show Jones's black SUV pulled to the side of the highway. Other photos we gathered show that the SUV did not have any damage. Legal experts say this is the moment when troopers need to start asking questions. Who saw a crash? Whose SUV is it? Has the driver been driven? Drinking. Jones is the one who asked questions, asking the trooper to follow him to the hospital. Relax. Don't do something stupid that you're going to regret. Here, the trooper's first contact with Jones starts off intense and ends with a fight. Can an argument be made that you're looking at a false arrest? That will be the argument. Local 4 legal analyst Neil Rockine says the argument should be made that troopers did not establish a reason to detain Jewel Jones. Good lawyers are going to make that argument because they're going to protect their clients' interests and their clients' rights. Troopers maced Jones during the struggle, leaving him with red, irritated skin. They tased him when Jones wouldn't put his arm behind his back. Barb marks are behind his ear. Another argument can be made that Jones could have walked away from the troopers, but didn't. And the problem is the more that, that Jones communicates with the police, the more the police begin to have reason to believe that there's more going on. Interesting question. Joel Jones will have an opportunity to ask that question of a judge when he heads back to court on a hearing in October. Meantime, he's still in the Livingston County Jail, guys, a $100,000 bond for being charged with bringing a handcuff key into the jail. We're live tonight. Sean Lake, local four. Okay, Sean, thanks.